Good morning, good afternoon, good evening once again. And my son wants to turn to you, all, my creative friend, and whoever will be watching me today. Um, and we are going to design another flyer again, another beauty salon flyer for clients. Yes, I designed a beautiful salon flyer for a client, and then we had to do a tutorial on it for all of us to have a fair knowledge about um, how to design the flyer. So, this is a preview of what I designed for the client, and then we had to share tutorial or do a video on how I, had, I was able to achieve this using the Photoshop. So all the resources that I use, including the text, the images, will be given to everybody for free to download in the description below. But then there will be a password on it. So in order to get the full password, you need to watch a full video of this in order to get the password and use them for free. And then I also put the PSD file. Just all you need to do is to edit all the text or anything in it and then use it. For your project for free. So without wasting much time, let's type into Photoshop and then Control N to open a new document. I use A4 size. Then just post the name Spa and Beauty Flyer. Interest here, copy it. Then post it. Yes, Spa and Beauty Salon Flyer. The size. If you don't have the A4 size and you are using other version of Photoshop, the width is 210 and the height is 297. Then the orientation is the resolution is 300, color mode RGB, we are not going to print it. Then the resolution, uh, sorry, the orientation is portrait. We are not using the landscape, we are using the portrait. Yes. Then if press on create. Boom. So let's reduce the size. Control Z to reduce the size so that everything will be visible. Now the next thing I did is we we drilled a nice rectangle to cover this surface very well, and then we did a gradient overlay to cover this. Boom. I think I have the gradient overlay already. So the first X code is three four zero zero four nine. That is the first one. Three four zero zero four nine. And then the the next one is eight three zero zero D F. Eight three zero zero D F. This is the hex code we we'll use for the gradient. Then press OK here and come and press OK here. Boom. So the gradient is set. Now the next thing we are going to do is to work on the name. No, sorry, let's work on. Okay, let's group this and this and call it the background. Very good. So this has become the background image. Now let's go and import a big image. I put drag this image into Photoshop. Then let's rotate it, flip it horizontal. And then push it to this side somewhere here is okay. Let's enlarge it. Then like this is perfect. 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 And then group it, control G, group it, and then call it image. Perfect, perfect. Now let's go and work on the name. So it's climb and touch. Academy. So copy that one. Press T on the keyboard to activate the test tool, and then type anywhere, and then paste it. Control V to paste the copied text. Now it's in black. We are not seeing it, so let's change it to a different color, like white, so that it will be visible. The font we use was Av. Let me confirm. The font we use. The font we use. The font we use. The font we use. A recent font. Where are you? A recent font. Where are you? A 
that yeah something like average yes we use a font called average let's uncheck this let's uncheck this and then increase the size control t press alt again and then enlarge it like this perfect 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 then the end is not showing so you have to clear the end And let's break this text, drag it, and then clear first one. Clear it, and then break this one too. Sorry, and clear this one. Then let's push this to the side. So this should go here. This should go here, and let's go and bring our end. Type your end inside like that. Perfect. It's too big. Just want it to be small. Let's see, 20. Perfect. Okay. And then pull it at the center like this. In between the two words. And then drag on out and then drag it down to duplicate it or control J to duplicate it and then put your dummy see it and come and paste it inside perfect perfect and increase the size to be big like this now we have to reduce the size of the glam for the glam or glam size Reduce the size to be small, something like 30. 30 is too small, so that size is perfect. perfect. Let's reduce this to, to 35. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Control Z. Good. And that. Yes. 35. Perfect. 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 This to push it. Why is it selecting this? Guys, just take your time to adjust it well. And then let's group. The three text together. Let's group them together, control G. And then we can reduce the size a little and push it like this. Then go and bring your texture, a golden texture. And then turn it to so be some this color to 90. And then reduce the size, use alt, and then drag, just hold the edge and pull it to reduce the size. Then pull it up and go and create clipping marks. Create clipping marks. Now you have the nice texture blended with uh, text. Perfect. Something like this is what we are looking for. Then group that one too and call it name. Very well. Now let's work on the logo. I didn't import the logo, so I have the logo in my downloads. Let's go quickly to the downloads. So I have the logo here. Let's drag it into Photoshop. Drag it into Photoshop. Perfect. And then let's enlarge it. And then what you are going to do is you are going to select this one. This one, two, three, and four. So we want the fourth one. So just put the lasso two. And then uncheck the caps lock. 
and then select only that side. Good, and then press Ctrl G, copy only that side and hide this. Now reduce the size a little, and then let's flip it to this side and put it here. Okay, better still. Let's put it here for the meantime. Press V to so that to go to the move. Now let's pick the texture again and drag it into it, and then create clipping mask again. Perfect, 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 perfect. So we hold that one, and then we push it this side. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's delete this. And then with this and this, we can call it the logo. Oh yes, the logo and name. So you see all is grouped together. So this and this becomes the logo and the name. Logo plus name. Good, good. Let's push the image back a little bit so that the logo and the name will be visible or better so you can reduce the size uh, this is okay then let's go and bring more text which is our service copy it and then draw your nice rectangle paste it See on the keyboard and then paste it inside. Services is done. Now let's increase it and then put it on the rectangle. Very well. Then let's change it to cut. I think it's perfect. Now let's change the font to Montserrat. Something semi bold will be okay. Semi bold will be okay. And reduce the size. It's too big. Let's increase our rectangles more. I think this is fine. Let's still reduce the rectangle. Perfect. Then this should go. Should be at the center. Then bring it down a bit and still reduce the size. Now let's go and copy the words. Put them like this. Let's see. And then come and paste it. And draw me. Perfect. 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 Let's close the leading. To so somewhere at PC. 50 is too huge, so let's come to 20 and put them. Okay, 20 is fine. Let's increase it and pull it up. I think so. We have to close the leading again. So down, 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 down. Somewhere 25. Okay. Now we did brought the into it bring the texture into it release it turn it like this okay it should be normal reduce the size and then you create clipping mask nice this is what you are looking for then group both the 
services in the text header and call it our services. Nice, nice. Now let's import the small images. So that one I have this nice stone paper. Drag it into Photoshop and then let's work on it. Now it's done. Let's clear that um, thing we are seeing on the edges. So how do we do that? Just right click it. Rasterize layer. Press W on the keyboard to activate the magic one tool. Just click on that black area and press delete. Now all is gone. So to deselect it, control D to deselect it. Press V again. Then hold it, push it close like this, and reduce the size, and bring it down. Then let's go and bring our first image, just any of them, just bring them down, then delete crypton marks into it then reduce the size of the image adjust it so that the image will fit into it nicely I think this is perfect or less good this is perfect then you select both of the two and control G to duplicate it and use the arrow to drag it this eye. Good. Clear that image and go and import the next image into it. So let's bring this. Reduce the size. Create a clipping mask. As you know already, just do it nicely. So what these are images, this is the image very well. Now let's draw a nice rectangle beneath it and give it color white. So change the color to white. Push it up like that. It should be below the image image or the images. Yes. Should be below the images. Then the next thing we are going to do is call or WhatsApp us on P it T on the keyboard and paste it here. Okay. And then let's Then okay. change the color to this. So let's go and copy the telephone numbers. Proceed to copy it through G and then you paste it inside and drill in this is then let's change it from the semi bold to black and then increase the size then bring it to this side Close the lead in so that it will be nice. Okay. 
and the call or WhatsApp as on should go after it. Then let's go and pick the next text, which is home service available. Control C, copy it, then duplicate it, Control G, and bring it down. Very well. And then paste it, home service available. And the next thing is the location. Copy the location. Duplicate this. Come and paste it. And then let's go and change it to center line. Bring it here. Then scan to connect all the details, the remaining details that you want. You can bring them here. Yes, all the remaining details that you want. You can put them including social media handles, and uh, yes, other things that you want. Then it's time to connect. I used my QR code, so I don't have it here. So all the remaining things that you want, you can put them here. Then let's group these two together and call it details perfect, perfect perfect so the next thing we did was you just create a layer press on the brush to and then increase the size of the brush using the brackets open and then just change the side to white and give it boom like this and then let's set the blending mode to something nice let's test them which one will suit it i think this is fine This is fine. This is fine. So, we are going to bring another texture, copy this, pick this texture into Photoshop. I don't know, we don't ask you to open. Then paste it. Let's test the blending mode. I think this color band, let's test all and see if you don't get anything there. Come and pick the color band. I think the color band will do. Yes. Then let's clear some parts of it. Reduce brush size and clear the face clear the side I think it's, it's perfect so guys this is how you design this beautiful saloon flyer for anybody that calls you and request for something similar like this you just um, design something for the person and if you want the PSP file to start set the link will be in the description below for you to download the free PSD file and then use it for free. So without wasting much time again, thank you and I'll see you in the next tutorial. God bless you. Bye.